All right, welcome back to another day in CW's garage. I'm CW, your host. So today we're gonna put, uh, I wanna put the core support on, but I needed to put a new gearbox, steering gear in this thing, because the old one was pretty loose and Serena didn't really enjoy driving it because it kind of had a lot of play. So I bought a Borgeson. <laughs> Emptied out the bank account for a little bit for uh, a very nice brand new steering gear. It's got a quicker ratio, 12.7 to 1 or some nonsense, I don't know. But uh, I ordered it yesterday. What time did I order it? It was like 11 o'clock yesterday morning, 10 o'clock yesterday morning. It's already here from Summit. So it, do it does help that I live in the Metroplex area that one of the Summit warehouses is at. We're going to put this in and that way we can kind of start buttoning this up. I got a new steering shaft coming. I didn't get the Borges in because it's another 240 250 bucks for the Borges one. So I bought some random ass one on Amazon. It'll be here tomorrow. I'm going to have to modify it because no one makes one specifically for it. They make a Jeep one. Everybody has to fight the collapsible thing. Anyway, I'll go over that tomorrow whenever we're, we get that in and we put that on. So let's go ahead and put this doodab on here so we can see how it fits. Okay, all right. Just keep on trying. I took my uh, Pitman arm off of the old one. Let's see where we fall. No. It's a really, real light piece of equipment here. Not heavy at all. Yeah, yeah, but as I presume. Some people said that you had to trim the something up on this damn thing to make it fit more flush with the frame. So this will be a test fit. I'm glad I did this with the core support removed. Because I hate to sit here and try to hold this up with the damn thing on. Alright, what the fuck? I'll get the thread started on that one. That'd be great. Oh, you're not even watching me fight this thing. Alright, sorry about that. I'm not real good at this whole filming myself working on stuff. Whoa, you're doing a little twisty roost here. I think I got you in place now. Yeah, this isn't fun. This thing is heavy. Arm is worn out already from a few seconds of holding it in place. Now it's right up against the frame there, so that's really easy to get started with your fingers when there's no room for your fingers, so that's good. Yeah, that looks like it stands off the frame a little bit, which apparently is a common thing. So I will get a flashlight and see what is up. Alright. Yep. Uh, casting is a little I don't know if you can see down in there. Tight on the frame. See there. The casting hit, so I'll probably have to pull it off and grind it a little bit. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna contact Wargus and make sure this isn't gonna void any warranties or anything, because don't really want to avoid a warranty on a $500 uh, gearbox. So, all right, we'll be right back. So I think my uh, solution is going to be some washers. That's like spacers. I think that'll be fun. They fit perfectly in there and they should bring it out enough. We'll find out in a second. I'm just assuming they'll bring it out enough, but you know what that makes us. Oh, let's just see here. Let's just drop it. Let's do exactly that. Drop the other washer. Both washers on the ground. Sweet. Good grief. Yeah, it'd be great if I had multiple hands. I don't think that's gonna do it. I can just tell by looking at it. Oh, she's fucking brake lines right in the way. Couple washers on there just to bring it out enough. Yeah, what the fuck is this supposed to fit? My frame doesn't have any cracks, I already looked. Okay. 
pick up more workers real quick. This is frustrating, guys and gals, dudes and dudettes. It's not ideal. Let's just see here. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, I need a 15. Helps have the right size socket, huh? Well, I see that. What the hell size is this damn thing? The 5 8. Where's the 5 8 at? Widen it over here, you know? Far away, I need it. It's near the washers, eh? These fucking lines. Oil cooler lines, power steering lines. All of the lines in the damn way. So annoying. I don't even know if y'all can see through my head. I probably, probably not. If I had to guess. What kind of magician was I to get this crap crammed in here like this? I can't wait till there's a belt on that damn pulley because I get so tired of that. It sounds like a bell going off all the time. It's like ringing a bell. You can ring my bell. Whatever the hell that song's about. Let's just see here. Damn lock washer. That's how a lock washer is supposed to work on this, but whatever, we'll put it on there. Let's see where that puts it. Yeah, it still needs one more. I think one more washer there. A single washer there stands that off enough to do that. Maybe one more? I don't know. All right, missing a bolt. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Blew my mind if it went attached to my brain. Maybe. What in the hell? I didn't even move any of them. They should still all be over here. They're just sitting somewhere. I don't understand. I don't understand. Alright, we'll be back when I find the fucking bolt. I found a bolt. I left it sitting on the uh, toolbox over there. So that's smart. Literally just walked over there right after I turned the camera off. Picked it up and walked back. So, sweet. One washer down there. Let's see about this back one. That sounds good. That should be good. All right, so another washer up here and one down there. Space it out a little bit from the frame and whatever. They're grade eight washers, so what more do you need? I don't think this will be any thinner, but we'll see. Let's try this. Let's just see. Okay. All right. You're about to fall off your mount there for the 11th time. Yeah, you can see how close that is. Here, you may be able to see how close it is. I should just put some thread locker on there, huh? Loctite. I think that's what I'll do with the ones that I don't have the proper size. Uh, lock washers, or even though the lock washers are pretty much useless. Cause it's not a nut it's a bolt put the blues on there bluesy doozy oh my goodness this stuff is this fucking comes right out good grief you expect it to have a little bit thicker consistency but no no it's like pouring water out of a tube okie dokie yeah, probably. Go ahead and put some thread locker on there. Oh, Helps if I grab the right size socket. Hopefully this is worth it. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot of money spent. Alright, okay. So, 
that is that. I had to put a couple washers in there, spacers. Let's see, two there, one there, and then one down here because the casing was hitting the frame right there. But should be good to go now. Anyway, um, it's gonna be just that's about it on this part until we get the steering shaft and we can fiddle with that. I'm gonna tighten up the um, rest of the suspension parts down there. You know. Just, uh, we're gonna move on to the next thing. I'll show you what I did yesterday. I didn't film it because there's a bunch of people that have done this And this is just my way to do it. I don't know if it's the right way and we'll see whenever we start driving it But anyway, we'll be back shortly All right back at it it's a few days later. Uh finally got some parts in got the steering shaft for uh, like a Jeep Cherokee like 84 to 90 something or something like that. I don't remember. I'll put the exact details in the description but I had to, it had these spot welds or whatever I don't I guess that's what it was anyway I drilled those out so that I could tap it down because it was too long so I'm gonna see if I can't I think it should be free enough I should be able to like pull it back out so but we'll see I probably have to use mechanical force to pull it out <sighs> yeah probably because it's gonna be too short right now in this length because I kind of tapped it a little further so I could get it in so let's just see you may have to bolt it to something and just kind of tap it in tap it down or whatever Put it down here the steering gear and up to the column make sure your steering wheel straight let's see okay there we go let me put the bolts here yeah, like a groove in the steering gear, the gear for the steering gears. So. Groove, get a line, it, get it to where you can get the bolt on through there. That should be it. What in the heck? All right, there's that. Line this guy up here. Super easy to collapse and expand this damn thing, do they? This is why you need more hands. It's moving slowly but surely. Here we go. Which side is threaded? I think this other side is. There we go. Let's see how long. Hopefully, this is of decent enough quality to last a few years, you know? not maybe by then i'll have some extra money i can buy the fancy dancy borgeson one probably be a good idea to put a loctite on these things but yeah this will be fine for now luckily it's relatively easy to access those bolts but yeah nothing too crazy just drill a couple holes heat it up a little bit with the torch tap on it to the length you need and that's it all right now i can start well, i gotta put a new uh evaporator in figured while i had the course board off we could do that so i'm gonna put a new evaporator and stuff on and i'm gonna run new air conditioning lines to the back because this air conditioning system has been a freaking pain in my butt the whole time we've had this thing I put it all back on and whatever and uh anyway i'm uh, just rambling so. all right let's show you the ghetto pedal i uh modified the donor pedal it doesn't look pretty and i don't have it completely bolted in because i just before i drill holes and make it a permanent fixture i want to test it with the uh engine running so i just i want to make sure it all works correctly i didn't even clean the pedal off you know you gotta leave that dirt on there but yeah i mean it's like in this i got it pretty much in the exact position that it was originally you know it's not a reach it works pretty good i think it'll be fine so i'm just gonna hold off till i get it running and started before i make it a permanent fixture in the old vehicular automobile so yeah i'll pull it out real quick and kind of show you all what i did 
Well, I can show you a little bit. I just took some measurements of the factory one. See, I just took, you know, whenever the factory one was in there, kind of measured, you know, how far away it was from like the air box and stuff like that. And kind of from the dash and then from the firewall. But we'll, I'll pull it out real quick and show you. Um, kind of where it stands next to it. I have to put two new holes in the firewall, like I said. But I will just fill the other ones up with some seam sealer or something like that. Or I guess I could cut the some bolts and screw them in there. I don't know. We'll fill those holes up though. May have to build some standoffs just to get it out away from the firewall a little bit. But here it is next to the original pedal. See, it looks like it's down, you know. But original pedal, it's like at the same height. A little bit higher, but that's okay because we're shorties, short peeps. Um, but yeah, it kind of, kind of went off at this hole too. This bolt hole, the bottom one, because it's going to be using the same bottom bolt hole, right? So I just kind of placed it, kind of in the middle of the pedal. I don't know if you can really tell, but uh, yeah, just kind of in the middle of the pedal. But uh, I think that'll work. Nothing too crazy. It's a uh, warped. I don't know how you do that, but I could always get another actual pedal, the plastic part. So, anyway, yep, just uh, showing you that. And then whenever I get the suburban fired up, I'll I'll show you if if it works or if it doesn't. If we need to figure something else out, but uh, yeah, just a little short tidbit there. All right, we'll see you next time.